I'd like to show you how to calculate areas and add columns in QGIS. Remember we had some beaver impacted areas, ponds plus the meadows and flooded areas around that we digitized in an earlier video. And so there's five of them here. So I can go ahead and look at them individually. So there's ID4, ID5. Oops, I forgot to put an ID for that one. We can fix that in the table. ID1 and ID3. So we're missing ID2. That's okay. I'll go ahead then and toggle editing on for my feature. Remember, I'll select it and toggle the editing on. And I can right click and open the attribute table with the editing toggled on. Now, if I forgot to toggle it on before I did the opening, I can toggle it on and off here also using this button. So it's toggled on. We remember, oh, there's this one we have to fix. So we'll type in a two there and hit return and then save it. And now we have that saved value. We'd like to get the area for each of these. And so we can calculate an area by clicking on a new field here and calculating area into it or clicking on this abacus up here, which creates a new field and will allow us to fill it at the same time. So I'll call this my area and the area is going to be in square meters. It's in the coordinate system that you currently have for the data layer. And we created this with a UTM meter coordinate system. So the square is going to be square meters. I'm going to make sure it's a decimal number. That precision is fine, but it's going to be a really big number. I could make this field length bigger. I don't need it to the nearest uh, centimeter. Well, I can do the nearest tenth of a centimeter. So I have to create an expression here. So in this case, I want to use the geometry, the built-in expression, and just double left click to get the area to show up here. It's going to calculate the area. It gives me a preview of what it might look like here. So I then say, okay, there's a description of a function here, but I've already told you it calculates a square area in the units. And it calculated it. Now, how do I know? I can go ahead and look at the attribute table, and there they are, the areas for all my pieces. I can also then look at a piece, so I'll go here and get my inquire cursor, and it shows the area for each of these. So I have the square meter area showing here. Well, what if I don't want the square meter area, but rather I want acres? So I can open my attribute table, I can add another field, this time using this add field here rather than the abacus. And I'm going to give it this field name, the acres, right? Oops. Uh, I don't want it to be an integer. I want to make sure it's a decimal number. 10 and 3 is fine. I'll say OK. And then I can calculate into an existing field. Rather than a new field, I will update an existing field. That was different than what we did before. I have to tell it which field, my acres field. And again, I'm going to give my expression here. And so I want fields and values. I want the area in square meters divided by the conversion factor. Oops, double click, that happens sometimes. And it's 400 and, I'm sorry, 4,046.9 square meters for every acre. So, I have to make sure I get this correctly. If I have the square meters and I divide that by 4,046.9, that will give me the number of acres. So I'm showing the acre values in a preview down here, right? So I'll hit return on that. I'll say OK. And it filled then my values here for acres. I want to save my calculations when I'm done, and then I have them in the table. So toggle editing off, and my new table shows the values. That's all there is to it.